The following information, audio and video you are about to see, provide a summary of releasable facts and circumstances regarding an officer-involved shooting in Fountain on November 20, 2022. The following videos may contain strong language as well as graphic images which may be disturbing to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. The incident occurred in the 6900 block of Village Meadows Drive when Fountain Police were dispatched to a call regarding a domestic violence disturbance. The victim called 911, stating she had to leave her home after an argument with her husband, Mr. Florsheim, turned physically violent. During the 911 call, she also explained that her husband has access to firearms. Officer Ryder was the first officer to arrive, and he immediately made contact with the victim at the neighbor's house. The victim told Officer Ryder there was a verbal argument between she and her husband, and when she tried to leave with her 8-year-old son, her husband threw her to the ground. She was eventually able to get out of the home, but she told Officer Ryder her husband was intoxicated and her son was still inside the residence. As Officer Ryder was speaking with the victim, a second officer, Corporal Haley with the Fountain Police Department, arrived on scene. After receiving information of an act of domestic violence and needing to check the welfare of the child in the home, both officers, wearing body-worn camera, approached the home of Mr. Florsheim. As they approached, Corporal Haley described that he has had adverse contact with Mr. Florsheim in the past, and he thought it would be a better idea for Officer Ryder to make initial contact. Officer Ryder approached the front door with only his flashlight in his hand, opened the glass storm door, and knocked on the front door. Corporal Haley was standing off the front porch in the driveway with a view of the front door. Several moments after Officer Ryder knocked on the front door, he heard a gun rack from inside the home. He told Corporal Haley that he heard a gun. Officer Ryder drew his sidearm. As soon as the door opened, Mr. Florsheim emerged and was holding an AK-style semi-automatic rifle with a large magazine, and he raised it toward Officer Ryder. Officer Ryder directed Mr. Florsheim at least four times to put the gun down. Corporal Haley also yelled for Mr. Florsheim to put the gun down. Mr. Florsheim refused to comply with officers' direct orders to drop his firearm and continued to point it at Officer Ryder. After eight commands given and seven seconds had elapsed, Officer Ryder fired a single shot into Mr. Florsheim's torso. Mr. Florsheim immediately dropped to the ground and within two seconds began shooting rounds from his rifle out the front door in the direction of the officers. Corporal Haley tried to fire his sidearm, but it malfunctioned and through the course of events never fired a round. From the body-worn camera footage, at least 23 rounds can be heard coming from Mr. Florsheim's firearm. Both officers fled their respective locations to obtain a safer position. Here is the body-worn camera footage of the interaction with Mr. Florsheim. I'm good. Do a slide right now, secondary. I'm good. You good? Fired a break. Did you fire? Yeah. 
That's what brought him back. K-961, can we get medical started? I did fire one round and hit the suspect. What you just watched was the body camera footage from Officer Ryder. Next, we want to show you the body camera footage from Corporal Haley. Oh! Hey, put the gun down! Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Put the fucking gun down now! I drop back. Get in the house. Get in the house. Three Frank Twenty One. Send to everybody right now. Check yourself right now. Check yourself. Do a swipe right now. Secondary. Three Frank Twenty One. He had an AK style rifle fired at us. Break. Did you fire? That's My fucking gun happened. jammed. Can I get one? Can we get medical started? I did. Fire one round and hit the suspect. Once additional units arrived, a hostage rescue team approached the home so they could locate the child and provide medical aid to Mr. Florsheim. Despite the seriousness of his injury, Mr. Florsheim was still agitated and verbally abusive to officers as well as paramedics that rendered aid. The child was hiding in a room and came out when he heard the officers telling him they were there to get him to safety. Thankfully, the child was safe and unharmed. Mr. Florsheim was transported to a local hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. Here is a picture of the gun Mr. Florsheim used during his interaction with Officer Ryder and Corporal Haley. Pursuant to Colorado law, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office responded to the officer-involved shooting and initiated an investigation. Once completed, the investigation was sent to the 4th Judicial District Attorney's Office for a determination on whether the officer's use of force complied with Colorado law. After completing a thorough review of the facts and evidence, Colorado's 4th Judicial District Attorney's Office has determined the use of deadly physical force by Fountain Police Department Officer Brett Ryder was justified based on all the facts and circumstances of this case under the law of the state of Colorado.